Hello, in this particular uh, video we're going to have a look at how we can set up an Android app that will be suitable uh, for building our game on top of. If we think about games, there's, there's certain characteristics that is normally desirable. Normally for a game it occupies the, the full screen that's available on the device. We want to remove things like sort of title bars and other um, components that sort of get in the way of the, the game. We also generally in a game we want to keep the screen on. We don't want it to dim or to fade out if the user has a period where they're looking at the game but they're not uh, directly interacting with the, the screen. So we're going to create a new Android project and to configure it in a way that um, will be good for most games and enables us then to actually build on top of it uh, by way of creating and bringing together the game that uh, whatever you have in mind. So first things first, we create a new uh, application project. Um, we've got to give it, uh, so whatever the, the name of your game is uh, for your, your, your particular project that you're working on, and um, a sensible uh, package name uh, to use for it. Uh, so, I mean, if, if you are setting yourself up as a sort of a, a fictional or indeed a real sort of mini company, give yourself a, a domain name based on that. The minimum required SDK, I would suggest at least API 16 for, for Jelly Bean. You can go wherever you want. Um, targeting either KitKat or Android L, compiling with whatever one you, again, you fancy. Suggest we use the custom launcher icon and you replace that with something for your particular game. And we do want to create a starting activity. And then you have to then modify or change your, your icon. For the activity itself, we want a blank activity with a fragment. So suggesting we do want to use uh, fragments here. You, you may have a game where you only use the one fragment. You may want to chop it up to have a fragment for a splash screen, a menu screen, and, and game screens, whatever way you want to, to sort of separate out the functionality that you have uh, within your, uh, your project. Uh, we give it um, some sensible activity name and, and fragment name uh, for it, and that's us, we can finish the project. So it creates it, if I just run this, um, you'll see that we get the normal hello world, but we have the, the title appearing up here at the, the top uh, and, and some settings, but that's the things that we want to, to remove because we're not that interested in them. But first things first, uh, when it creates this here, remember there's a few extra bits that we don't really need, the options menu, so we can trim those out. And we also have that rather ugly uh, static placeholder that it puts in, and we, we, we don't want that. We want to take the onCreate view method that it has in this and, and to put it within its own fragment class, which is much nicer design. So we're going to create a new class. Uh, we will call it, um, let's say, Super uh, Game Fragment. This will be a type of fragment. Let me finish that. And inside here, uh, we just copy and paste in the, the onCreate view. Uh, it means then that back within the main fragment class, we can get rid of this ugly static class and change this to be our fragment for the game. Now if we run it, it'll look exactly the same as it has before, but we suitably set things up. Now we want to tweak the activity because here at this particular line we're, we're setting what the content view is, um, but we want to change the type of window that we have. We want to remove the title from the top. Uh, we want to make it full screen. We want to keep it on the whole time. So it's actually an activity that we would request those particular features uh, for the, the window within which the activity will get to be displayed. Um, you actually can get access to the, uh, the window. All activities uh, will have a, a get window method that returns a window for that particular activity. Now, at the minute, we haven't got an import for it. So we do source, organize imports, add in view.window, and we're happy then. So at this point, we have the window that this activity will be using. And we can configure our request that this window is configured in a, a certain way. So we can request a feature for the window, and it'll be one of the window features. You can see there's actually quite a, a few of them that you can do. We want the no title feature. So 
when we're creating this window, we don't want to have a title uh, bar appearing at the top. And we ask, can we do that? And it's going to capitulate and give it to us. We also want to set up a few other things. And this actually is one under one of the add flag options. And confusingly, it's the, the, the particular flag we're interested in is within the window manager, the layout params, and it is flag full screen. So we're adding in here a flag for this particular window. We're saying that we want it to be a full screen window. So it hides all the screen decorations. You can read the, the description that appears. We also want to add in another uh, flag. Um, layout palms again. And this one is flag keep screen on. And that's more or less it. So we've got the window. We don't want to have a title. We want it to be full screen, and we want to keep the screen on. Uh, and that will, that will configure it as, as a game typically wants to be configured. So if we were to go back and to run this now, when it appears, you see that we're using the whole confines of the screen that's available. And okay, this, this won't auto-dim anyway, but on an actual device, it wouldn't auto-dim. Um, so it's, it's, it's ready for us then to add in our game on top of it. Now there's one other thing that we need to, to do, and this is within the manifest. So if you open up the manifest, uh, viewing it in uh, XML mode, um, you see there you know, the users in terms of the SDK value, you've got some information, application, and activities. We want to add in, um, or we rather need to add in, a few of the things that, that we are using. And this, this comes under the um, users' permissions. So whenever you're installing an app, quite often you'll see a list of the permissions that that app is asking for. And as part of the installation, you, if you want to install it, you have to agree that this app can actually have permissions for using these different things. And there's a whole, there's a whole range of different permissions that, um, that you can do. So Android name, uh, Android, and you can see all of the permissions that are available, and there's loads of them. WEC lock is the one that we are interested in. So because we're saying that our particular game may keep the screen on, and it's not going to auto-dim, we've got to ask the user, are you happy for us to do this? Because it could drain their battery if, if, you know, if, 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 if it stays on. And they need to say, yes, they're happy for that to be the case. So it's a reasonably easy one to request, because most users will not particularly object to this. Uh, another common one depends on the, 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 the game that you are doing is um, so Android name what one is going to be the right external storage this one here so if you were um, storing say the save game information and you didn't want to store it to your main application if you're stored in internal memory and you want to use the external drive again you need to ask for permission uh, to do that assuming the user does have some external storage available on their device um, so anytime we're installing this it'll flag up to the user that this particular app will keep the screen on and wants to have a permission to write to external storage should it exist it's all sensible things there's there's one other thing that is is reasonably useful to put in. So users feature. So we're saying that we are using some feature. Uh, the particular feature that we want to use is going to be Android hardware uh, touch screen multi touch um, distinct. So in other words this is multi-touch that we want to 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 have something that that requires um, a, a, a tablet or a device that supports multi-touch so if your game requires uh, you know two fingers to be touched to the screen you need a multi-touch display else it's not going to work and you can flag up within your manifest that this is something that you use you use a multi-touch 
and you definitely need it to be there, else there's no point uh, anybody installing this particular game. And th this this communicates that, so it can act as a filter by way of not displaying uh, this app to, to to devices where it's not going to run on it in the first place. So all sensible things uh, to, to put in. Now at this point, um, we have done enough setup to have uh, our, our activity and our fragment to be displayed full screen, keep it on, and we set up our, our manifest with some of the permissions that we want, and depending on how your game evolves or changes, you may need to add in additional permissions to it, but this is enough to get us going. So the next um, video will have a look at how we can use um, Subversion uh, to, to tag, for example, the starting point and to share it across the team by way of permitting the team to collaboratively develop it.